Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Come my air. If you're new here, my name is Progress and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're old, welcome back. to BTS from nobodies to legends this is by popular demand a lot of you guys in the comment section want me to make a reaction video basically getting to know the boys a little better than I know them and I am very excited to get to know them a little bit better um, the video is about 10 minutes long so it might be a long reaction video I know the armies don't care about how long videos are so I'm just gonna let it roll as long as possible if it's too long for you I'm sorry, but I gotta do what I gotta do. A lot of people requested for me to do this. So I am giving you guys what you guys want, okay? All right, so I am bracing myself. Uh, I really I really don't know what to expect. I know it's basically gonna be their story and you know where they're coming from and the struggles they've been through and all that. And you know, I'm a very emotional somebody, so I'm gonna be ready with my paper towel to clean my tears and everything because I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be very emotional to watch. And I'm very excited to see, um, basically just see where the boys are coming from and just get to know them a little bit better. Um, you guys just stick with me and let's just enjoy this video together. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to do a lot more videos like this. Thumbs this video up, let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below and share with your friends. Let's get right into the video. I'm going to be reducing the audio a little bit on the video so bear with me on that. But if you want to go watch the full thing, you definitely can. But this is just my reaction and everything like that. Alright, let's get started. Oh, so he just said even the camera operators don't even know their names like there are times where I look at myself and I'm like hmm in a couple of years I'm gonna be like famous or I'm gonna be so rich and everybody's gonna know me and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna look back and be like I remember when nobody knew my name you know so he's basically saying that um, even the cameramen don't even know their names yet like who doesn't know BTS right now like back then they were like rookies and nobody knew them but these guys are popping right now So, okay, all right, um, oh god, okay, so, they were all in one room, guys, can you imagine six, seven people sharing one room, low budgets, all they had was just a dream, guys, a dream, a dream to be famous, a dream to be rich, a dream to be popular a dream for you know people to know them know their sound sing their music huh. I've said it and I'll keep saying it whatever you want to do in this life don't ever stop like these guys are seven in number and they all shared one room together one room can you even imagine sharing one room with your sibling because of seven people it's crazy. It's very inspiring though. It's very inspiring. Let's continue. They really did a lot of stuff themselves, like writing their own songs and composing their own music. Basically trying to just do what they had to do at that point to succeed. See the, the struggle. 
you can see what they went through in the past you can see the, the struggle it's crazy it's absolutely berserk <laughs> What? The jar is in. Wow, that is mad. Wow. This is Let me understand something. So, uh, so after everything that these boys went through, the struggle, the hard work, sleepless nights, practicing 12 to 16 hours a day, composing their own songs, they finally, finally became famous. We were trying to stain the name. Like you can never satisfy everybody. You can never satisfy everybody. That's why it is up to you as a person to do what you want to do and live your life. Because at the end of the day, trust me, whether you do something good or bad, nobody is going to like you. People are always going to say something. If you do something good, people are going to say it. And you see these boys from, you know, working from scratch, basically, and getting to where they are now, you know, and you have people that are out there trying to hate on their success, hate on them, like, why like does it make any sense to you why why sending them death threats why are you doing that why are they hurting you anyway in any shape or form i i just don't get people sometimes i really don't i really don't it doesn't make any sense to me really actually say stuff like that are you seriously kidding me right now are you kidding me what does that mean what, what does that mean what does that mean these guys are talented boys they have worked their way up to the top they have worked their way up to the charts they have worked their way up to getting all the awards that they've gotten they didn't just wake up one morning and became popular no trust me if everybody could do that we would all be famous these guys worked their way up, are successful, got a bunch of awards, and you're wondering why teenage girls are listening to their song, and you're wondering why they're a thing in, in Western culture? How ignorant. Like, who talks like that? Are you freaking kidding me? These boys have a sound. They can sing. They can perform. What more, like, what more do you want in music? In general like when, when you hear entertainment what do you think entertainment is they're entertaining people go out to watch them people go to their concerts to watch them they win awards for a reason not because they're, they're so fine or their hair color is so great no they win awards because of their talent their hard work what they bring to the table so I don't understand why people are out here talking about oh why are teenage girls listening to k-pop like what how when is this a thing in the western culture like it doesn't make it it doesn't make no dang on sense why you were saying that because it doesn't it like seriously come on 
people have to be a little bit more open-minded. To be honest with you, a couple of months ago, I didn't even know a lot about K-pop. Seriously, it was actually YouTube that put me on K-pop. BTS. I didn't really know them, and then I made the commencement video. That was the first, my first time reacting to them or even watching them at all, and I was completely blown away. K-pop is not sleeping. Don't sleep on K-pop. But people have to be a little bit more open-minded to um, listen to other, you know, songs from different countries, cultures, and not just be focused on one type of music. To be honest with you guys, I was focused on one type of music. I'm not even gonna play with you guys. I was focused on one type of music. And then I decided to be a little bit more open-minded. Like, driving to work, I have never been happier because I have a lot more songs on my playlist than I did before. Instead of just having, uh, you know, specific kind of songs, I have a bunch of like varieties. I have varieties, songs from BTS, Blackpink. Like I'm even trying to get more K-pop artists to put on my playlist because I want to be that diverse so that when I'm going to South Korea tomorrow, I can jam and be like, hey, 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 because like, I don't want to travel out of the country and I don't know nothing about their music, nothing about their food, nothing about their tradition, their culture. Like, calm on. Stop being closed-minded. Seriously, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's so embarrassing. Really. Let's continue watching. The guys were snubs. They've broken all these records. They've had an epic year. They should be in all the major categories. I don't Thank know you. if they've separated them. Sorry to interrupt yeah. you, Vinny, but that's what... Well, it's just it's crazy because they constantly outsell American counterparts. Yeah. They outperform them, but they're still not acknowledged in the way they. Why? Do. They're really trying to maintain their identity, and there is a barrier there when it comes to you know, the Korean language. Like obviously, there's going to be some North American audiences okay. that aren't going okay. to have that on location, and it's still an issue with radio. That's the big thing. Like our fans, I think they're like more enthusiastic than anyone. Uh -huh. Can you describe that enthusiasm? They brought a boy band from Korea to Grammys. My name. Oh! Guests can only be described as an international music phenomenon. They have made time oh my God. the most influential list. They're the first Korean act to reach number one on the Billboard charts, and they just became the first group since the Beatles to earn three number one albums in less than a year. Wow. Alright, the seven member boy band has Yo guys, like if you are sleeping on BTS, you are sleeping. <laughs> You better wake up from your slumber, okay? Cause you're gonna watch like this boy is just whoop, right in front of your eyes. Um, like the first reaction video that I did about BTS, I didn't really know a lot about them. And in the comment section, I saw people talking about the army, 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 army. I was like, army, what, what are they talking about? What do you mean by army? And then I went to Google a lot more. I was like, you know what? Let me figure out what army stands for. And I realized that army, is actually the name for BTS fans and I was like poof poof as in, I love the fact that they stand they are united okay you can't break the armies that's one thing I realized you cannot break the armies there are for BTS any song any video anything those boys put out their fans are ready to go in support with every single thing that they got in the record for the best-selling album here in korea now this album released this april has sold 3.4 million Ooh, copies as of yes bts had the number one best-selling physical album in the united states in the first half of this year having the first korean artist to win two trophies at the billboard music awards in las vegas on wednesday wow the i am not surprised top social artist and top duo group bts has been named the group of the year on variety's hit makers list bts performed at the u.s's most watched new Year's concert, New Year's Rockin' Eve. Their upcoming U.S. tour is one of the hottest tickets on earth. Even more remarkable, considering most of their songs are not in English. The headline. But that's it right there. That's it. I dropped the mic right there. It's just speaking Korean. But yet, their songs are being like sold out in the United States, guys. It says a lot. 
I'm telling you, it says a lot about how talented these boys are. You don't even have to understand what they're saying. That's the thing too. That's actually what I realized. Because when I watched the, the commencement video, and I couldn't understand what they're saying, right? But I could get into what they're saying. I could get into it. And that's one thing that these boys are doing that differentiates them from any other artist out there because you're not even speaking English. Nine times out of 10, you won't even understand what they're saying, but you're bumping and like, eh, 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 eh. These boys have broken a huge record. I'm telling you, not every non-English speaking artist make it out here. A lot of them try to switch and speak English so it can be accepted worldwide. But these boys here are killing it. Okay? Killing it. All right. Two sold out nights at Wembley Stadium, performing for 60,000 wow. screaming fans. Wow. Yes. An economic analysis showed that BTS's last concert in Seoul created nearly as much economic gains as the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics in early 2018. It is estimated that roughly 100,000 foreigners came to Korea during that time. That number includes 23,000 foreign fans who came solely to see the concerts and to their companions. 24% of ARMY were male, while a clear majority, 76%, were female. 24% were 10 to 19 year olds, 26% were 20 year olds, 19% were 30 year olds, and hold on, this doesn't seem right. 27% were 40 to 49 years old. Hi, I'm Sam and I'm 34. Hi, I'm Cheryl. I'm just over 50. I'm 56. I'm 64. I'm 33. I'm 36 years old. Almost 48 years old. I'm 44 years old. I have two children. BTS, like, telling everyone to love themselves, to, like, you know, be who you are. And, right, right. Yeah. And, you know, having a... a you want to watch a BTS music video, make sure that you, you turn on your closed caption so you understand, so you can actually read and follow what they're saying. Because most of their songs are very inspiring. Like they're telling you to love yourself, like he said, be who you are, be strong. They're basically encouraging their fans. You know what I'm saying? This is the kind of song that you listen to when you're depressed, when you're sad. It lifts your spirit up and it lifts you up. So you guys might want to get into BTS. And I'm super happy for them. Like they... 60,000 people in it bro he said that he like he like <laughs> he was like they saw the same show as they would do in Korea like guys that is a huge deal that is a big 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 deal for any artist any artist especially a non-english speaking artist it is a huge huge deal they bring something to the table they bring a lot to the table and that's what we're seeing as the fans out here okay so uh, uh, let's continue they're giving people who are misunderstood to oh just see that guys important. you should love yourself for a group that is such so larger than life mm -hmm. that it can be so easy to like dehumanize them yeah they really right. do a good job of keeping themselves like really like just natural and natural so i've never seen a, a whole concert it's astonishing i don't know how they do it yeah. they are amazing performers. right and we load up and we had a blast wow so we got right down the pit and broke a sweat band as a group bts had previously team so guys so bts is not just known by their fans in korea they are known by big american celebrities big american celebrities john cena michael michael mcconaughey on Ellen DeGeneres show guys like these are big names in this part of the world and these boys are known by them they must be doing something so right so right
I am so excited for this boys. I am so so excited for this boys. Seriously. With UNICEF and spoken in front of the UN about the importance of self love for global youth. Aww. We have learned to love ourselves. Right. So now I urge you to speak yourself. You better. You better. Okay. Aww. Okay, so I'm going to pause this part to read it. So, bad tan means to be resistant to bullets. So, it means to block stereotypes, criticism, and expectations that rain on adolescents like bullets to preserve the values and ideals of today's adolescents. Like, BTS, they basically just, they, they, like, they preach love. Love yourself. You know, be confident. Have that self-love. Don't don't hate on yourself. No matter what you do, if you are confident in yourself, you're gonna be resistant to any kind of bullets, stereotypes, criticism. Cause these boys have had their own fair share of criticism, stereotypes, judgments, bullying. You know, they have this bulletproof that can't take any form of negativity. And so that's what they are preaching to their fans. Love yourself. Be confident. Like, who wouldn't love these boys? I'm telling you, these boys can actually lift your spirit. Their songs, their videos, the meaning to every single thing that they do lifts your spirit up. Yes. I'm finding how to love myself. Right. You know, I, I didn't know anything about love myself, but you guys, you guys taught me. Aww. Through your eyes, through your love. Right. Through your Method of how you love yourself. It's our mission to define our way to our love ourselves. It's never intended, but it feels like I'm using you guys to love myself. Right. So I want to say one thing. One thing. Please, please use, use me. Please use BTS to love yourself. yourself. So, like I said, like I said, this is a this is a crowd filled with this is a crowd filled with twenty, maybe thirty thousand, sixty thousand fans. And that's what he's saying to his fans. I'm pretty sure there's there's someone out there that probably came to the show thinking I hate myself. I don't. I'm just gonna come here and just forget about my miserable life. He just he probably just changed someone's perspective on themselves. He probably changed someone's ideas on how to love themselves. So 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 yeah, that's BTS for you. That's BTS for you. It's telling you. Use me to love yourself. That's one of the most important things. If you don't love yourself, you can't love nobody else. So use me to love yourself. See me as I love myself to love yourself. I'm telling you right there, there's probably two, three, four, five people that he spoke to that went home that night loving themselves. That went home that night saying, you know what? I'm gonna love myself. I'm gonna be confident. I'm not gonna take heed to criticism. I'm not gonna listen to any hate. There's someone out there that he touched and that he spoke to. So that's it. That's it. That's all I've been saying here. Their videos, their music videos, their lyrics, the song, the concert right here is basically just saying every single thing that I've been saying. Self-love, confidence. Right?
were nobodies who became legends. Wow. It's a lot of people. A lot of people, guys. Yes, BTS, you better come through. <laughs> guys, like, I don't even have anything else to say. Like, you guys have seen it for yourself and seen where these guys literally came from. Okay, they were all seven living in one room, staying in one room, composing their own songs by themselves, um, rehearsing 12 to 16 hours every day, and out free concerts to people so people can actually just come and see them and just see who they are. From They went from different, different phases of their lives and I am very happy that they are in this phase of popularity, fame, money, love, lights. Never ever calm down, they will keep going up. This is very inspiring, seriously. Like like I said before, if you're someone that is giving up, you're someone that don't know, you know, you're left from their right, you don't love yourself, you're thinking, oh, you know, this is too much for me, trust me, just believe in yourself. Keep pushing, keep pushing, because there are a lot of stories out there of people that started small and are big. So you don't want to give up, you don't want to be that one that gives up. Okay, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be super long, but just bear with me and watch every single thing because if you love BTS or, or if you don't know who BTS is, trust me, every part of this video is very crucial to knowing their struggle and um, where they are now, where they've been, and everything they've gone through over the years. So you might wanna watch the whole thing to get the whole thing you know what i'm saying but this is the end of this video thank you guys so much for sticking up to this point <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video and like this video let me know what you guys think about bts let me know what you think about this video from nobodies to legends because these guys are real and true legends let me know what you think about it in the comment section below recommend a lot more videos for me about them to react to and i'm gonna be seeing you guys next video bye